Today, for our topic, we're going to be looking at consider this. Let's get into the Word of God. Today, we'll be looking at Mark 6, verses 52. It says here, For they consider not the miracle of the loaves, for their heart was hardened. And today, I just want to talk about things that God did for us or is doing for us and we don't we don't consider it because it it's simple so we don't look at it as a miracle we just look at it well it was something that was done but in fact it was it was a miracle because if if God didn't do it it would not have been done if God didn't bring us out we would have not been out of the situation and I'm just going to give examples of things that God do for us and we don't consider them miracles I'm not talking about the miracle where your eyes get open where God heal you from a sickness I'm talking about the simple things the everyday things that God uh, do for us that we don't consider because our hearts are hardened I'm going to give an example now of you don't have sufficient money to pay your rent your rent is $1,200 and you only had $900. And on the day to pay your rent, someone comes along just out of the blue and gives you the other $300. That was a miracle. Another example is you, you're, um, you're going to the supermarket and you're in line and you know the food that you have costs $50 and you only have $30, but just by faith, you're gonna go up. You're probably gonna put, pay the thirty dollars cash and put the, the um the twenty dollars on, on a card and put your account in overdraft because you know you needed the food to eat. And when you go in line, the person behind the person in front of you look and say, "I'll pay for your grocery." That is a miracle. And there's a lot of things that God uh, do for us on a daily basis that are miracles but the bible said for they considered not the miracle of the loaves and a lot of times we don't consider these things miracles because it's not him we're not blind and he opened our eyes we consider those things a miracle but there's things that god do for us every single day there are miracles for me i was at the bus stop and we went away for Memorial Day weekend and it was 90 degrees outside to say we were sweating. Oh, Lord, we were sweating so much. And a, a man stopped and he said, you know what, where are you going? I'm saying I'm going X, Y, Z. He said, I'll give you a ride, but I have to go. I have to go run an errand. Give me about an hour and I'll come back and I'll take you where you're going. That was a miracle. We waited for the man, but he didn't come. But my story is for him just to take notice of us. We we got the bus. I waited an hour because we really didn't have anything to do. And we, we left. You know, but there's things. Um, That same day, we was at the bus stop. And we was uh, waiting on the bus because we just got lost. I think I should have waited on the man to give us a ride. And we were standing at the bus stop, me and my kids. And the lady, she stopped the car and she gave us $40. That was a miracle. We didn't ask her. We was just at the bus stop waiting on the bus. And the lady gave us, she said, go get the children something to eat. That was a miracle. So I'm, I'm just saying to the people of God, there's a lot of things that God do for us that we do not consider it miracles. Like the Bible said, for they consider not the miracles. You know, there's a lot of stuff getting you out of things that you know. For me, I, I often get myself into stuff that I don't know how to come out of. And I remember a few years ago, I got myself into some trouble at uh, my children's school and I know they wanted to interrogate me for what I know and I know because parents have complained that when they go to the school they just drill them and when they're finished with them their self-esteem is like and they call me in for a meeting guess what happened when they call me I had to go to court then they decided okay we're gonna reschedule guess what happened too I had to go to court again so even if, uh, and I know when, I know they wanted to interrogate me because of foolishness, but you know what God did? 
all two times God made a way for me. And I and I thank God because you you're you can be so hardened towards God that when he does stuff for you, little things, I'm not talking about the big things, the little things that he does that you don't recognize them as miracles, as the Bible said in Mark 6:52, for they consider not the miracles of the loaf. In the same chapter, when they were um when Jesus was preaching, he sat the people down and they had five loaves and two fishes. So God said they didn't consider it miracles. For them, it wasn't a miracle. It was just it was just normal. It was, but it wasn't normal. It wasn't natural. It was supernatural. For God for Jesus to have five loaves and two fishes and feed the Bible even you know and you know women are more so into the things of God than men if you go in churches 70 80 percent of the church is men I'm sorry 70 or 80 percent of the congregation are women so we have to consider the things that God do for us and we we, we cannot be so hard towards God that when he does the little things I'm not talking about the big things when he does the little thing not for us to give God thanks I'm going to go ahead now and pray Heavenly Father God we come before you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Lord we come before you repenting of our sins God of many times that you have done things for us God and like the Bible said in Mark 6:52 we did not consider them miracles God we we come before you this morning repenting of our sins God because we did not acknowledge you in the things that you did for us that were nothing but short of a miracle God getting us out of situations that we know that we caused by ourselves God not only get making a way where there seemed to be no way for us God making a way of escape God making bad decisions after bad decision and you have to rescue in us you have to bail in us out even in this corona virus God we went out and we did not get sick God we give you the glory we give you the honor and we give you the praise God we come before you today God repenting God of our sins of not acknowledging you in our day-to-day activities God not thanking you for the things that you have done for us God for waking us up in the morning Lord God we thank you for keeping us throughout the day Lord God we thank you for giving us this day our daily bread we thank you Lord God for providing for us we thank you God for going before us and going behind us we thank you for making our crooked place it straight lord god we thank you we thank you lord god for all that you have done for us and we thank you god for the things that you're about to do for us god we thank you for the for the day-to-day miracles that you do for us that sometimes we don't even consider them miracles god lord god we thank you and we repent right now god for every time you've done things for us that we didn't acknowledge it god we didn't say lord god we thank you god we repent now when we ask you lord god to forgive us god even in my own life god there's so much that you're doing for me god i see i I acknowledge and i thank you god i thank you jesus and i thank you holy spirit god i thank you for all that you have done and i thank you god for the things that you are about to do god i bless your holy name in jesus christ's name i pray amen